Hey there, my name is Dimitri and in this video, I'm gonna dive into how to create a lead capture and conversion form using ChatGPT and JobForm. Now you may be asking, ChatGPT, JotForm, how do we put these two things together? Well, while there isn't always an integration for everything, we have to understand that ChatGPT and other multi-language model products are a great way to ideate how to create a form itself. So what I'm gonna actually do is utilize ChatGPT to help me create one. Because templates aren't gonna solve everything. And my mind is limited. But ChatGPT, it, it's, I'm not gonna say it's unlimited, but it, it's got a lot more information in there than I have personally. So I'm gonna start from scratch and create a classic form inside of JotForm. So I think a great way to get started with this is let's pretend like I am uh, Acme Inc. I'm gonna upload my Acme PNG right here. Press save. Now we have our form started. So let's say for example, I was a content creation agency and I wanted to create a lead form for that specifically. Let's go into ChatGPT and ask it how I could do that. I'm a founder of a content creation agency and I'd like to know how to create a lead capture form using the best practices from sales processes that are proven. What kind of questions would I ask to create a great lead capture form for this? All right, so first of all, it's telling me I need some basic contact information. Okay, full name, email address, and phone number. Perfect. Uh, I'm actually gonna take these sections as well I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go and add a heading, right? So you see how it said uh, basic contact information was a section. I'm gonna put that section name here and then say, let's see, I think I'd actually like to change this to personal or your personal information. And then I'm gonna go for a full name field and drag it in there. And I'm gonna change it to your name. And maybe I'll add some your or something like that. It's, you kinda wanna figure out how to word it. So I'm going to say your personal information and I don't want to double up on the yours. So let's just do one or the other. Okay. Email. And then ChatGPT also wanted phone number. Uh, and we're going to make that optional. See, it's awesome because ChatGPT actually told me what was needed and what wasn't. So if we go to the settings of any of these, you'll see that we can set it to required or not. And we're just going to set these first two to required, but make sure that the phone number is not required. And now that that is done, what we can do is go back to ChatGPT and check company information. And I'm gonna actually do this, which is gonna be duplicating this field to make it easier to drag and make sure it's the same size. So let's just drag this guy over here, business information. All right, so what did ChatGPT want me to say? Okay, company name, industry and company size. So I personally don't wanna bog them down with a million questions. So industry, I don't really wanna ask. And company size, Ah, I kind of care. So I'll ask that. I'm curious how big the company is. So let's do a short text field and ask for company name and then go for company size and try to find a number one. There we go. And I could either have them put a number or even better than that, uh, let's actually do a single choice and we can give them some options. So for example, let's go to here and say company size and let's go to one and then let's do two to 10, 11 to 50 and then 50 to 250 and then maybe one more, which is like 250 plus. I'm curious if they're like enterprise or not. All right, so this is turning into a real form, right? Name, email, phone number, business information. All right, so let's add one more. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one more section we need at least. We have project details. What type of content are you interested in? I would say this is actually the most important stuff. The rest of what this is here is pretty intense. Like I, I don't wanna, I, I, I wanna keep it short. So they gave me a lot of information. And if we want to, we could say, what do you think outside of, of sections one and two are the most important three questions to learn more about the company's needs? Okay, so it says, what's the primary goal of this content? I think it's a good question. What challenges are you currently facing? That's a good question. And then I'm gonna say probably what I liked the most was what type of content are you interested in? So I'm gonna cop that and I'm gonna make another 
section and call it project info. And by the way, if we want to divide sections on the bottom, we totally can by grabbing this page element over here. Okay, I'm going to change this to project details. And first, let's do a multiple choice. What types of content are you looking for? The parentheses around there. And let's say YouTube, LinkedIn. So YouTube videos, LinkedIn posts, tweets, maybe TikTok videos. All right, good question. And then remember there's two more. Let's go, what challenges are you currently facing with your content creation? Great question. And I would actually give them the ability to do a long text here. So let's do that. And then one more. What's your estimated budget for this project? No, let's do primary goal. I think that's more, uh, I want another goal so I can sell them better rather than trying to just get the most money out of them. So what's the primary goal of this content, right? So now we actually, if we preview this form, it's looking pretty good for the most part. We have context regarding them, their company and their needs, but we have to just go through and make sure that things are a little bit, you know, more ironed out. So we're going to change this name for the form to saying content services inquiry form. And I'm going to add some subtext that says we're excited to learn more about your needs, something like that to just be welcoming. And then we're going to go through and make sure that everything that we want that really matters is required. So you see required here for this company size. Sure. I don't really need it required personally, but I, I want to know this and I want to at least know the goal. If they want to tell me the challenges, that's fine. I don't want to require them to answer a million things. Okay. But now at this point, we've done what we need. We can publish this and it's a well-made form. So you say I have to fill this out. I don't want to give my phone number. I'm going to say jot form for the company name, pick company size. I want YouTube videos, make better videos than we currently have. What challenges are you facing? Dimitri is the one making the videos <laughs> and then press submit and then boom, it's done. Now there's a myriad of other things that you could do. You could set up conditional logic. You could add integrations so that it sends out notifications to people when that's done. You can change the thank you page. There are so many different things you can do with JotForm and we're adding integrations so often it's crazy. But what is amazing about that is that we're here to make a better product for you week in and week out and we'd love for you to try it out. So make sure to click the link down below to get JotForm today. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.